What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man. So Memphis currently plays for a French league called the Olympic Lyonnais that is in France and he is a forward. So in this video, I'm going to be style breaking down three characteristics of his style that you guys can take away from this video to elevate your game to the next level. Let's go. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel first and foremost, hit the thumbs up on this video and share the content. So I just wanted, this is really cool because he has a leather jacket right here, all black leather jacket, and then it's actually painted in white graffiti. This is actually pretty cool because this is like a personalized piece. And that's something I actually encourage you guys to check out with when it comes down to selecting personal pieces. It can be from a luxury and it can be from like a semi-luxury to like a streetwear look. Look for something that's personalized or you which you guys can purchase yourself. So this jacket overall looks pretty sick on him and you can actually see the skull shirt underneath it. So kind of complementing the contrast there. That's a sick outfit. So you can actually see within this look right here, it's kind of like an outrageous jacket, but it's loud, it's, it's powerful, it's a statement. It's showing that he's here, the king is here. And it's interesting because he's wearing the same jacket that's similar to Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson has something that he used to wear back in the day. They both just wear it in their own personal style. He's presenting himself as a king, he's here. The next thing I wanna get into, I noticed about Memphis, is that he wears a lot of smart casual. Now I wanna get into this factor of a little bit of loungewear and uh, smart casual looks. So I'll start with the loungewear. So you actually see him like wearing like a velvet jumper from head to toe. It's obviously quite different from anything you'll pick up here in North America, but if you look for something distinct and unique, you can find a lot of different pieces. So you can just see how the design pattern on the shoulder is, is showing how this jumper is different from anything else you experience. Even comes down to the pants. This is very simple to do. You don't have to go to a high luxury place to do it. I saw a friend that works at Banana Republic and he introduced me to a lot of velvet pieces. And I was, at first, I was a little standoffish about it because I never wore it. So get yourself into more velvets because when I put that on from his advice, I was just like, you start seeing yourself in a different manner. And actually the way you wear velvet jackets can actually look really, really good for you guys. So one thing I do want you guys to check out is check out the Arcway Instagram because I'll be posting content on a daily basis. What you'll be seeing is from anything from fashion to style, to culture, to art, anything that really inspires Arcway as a brand, you guys will just see it from there. And then that way you guys can pick up what you guys like most about it and then apply it to your own style, your own life, your own culture, your own fashion. So a smart casual look is actually a great go-to if anyone is gonna be traveling or you wanna prep yourself up a little bit and in a professional setting, but it's relaxed. Um, you can actually wear like a polo, like what he's wearing right now. And then you got the white shorts with it as well. And then I actually wanna jump into this picture, which is quite sick. This is a picture of when it's like more of a casual, everyday type of look, where you guys can actually style yourself in that fashion as well. This is in a setting of a street environment. It's a smart casual look again. He has a cropped pair of pants, he has a loafers, and he has the loafers matching his shirt. And he actually has the blue over the shoulder man bag. That's just normal. There's no, no other way to say it. <laughs> and just to show you one more look of a smart casual look, you guys can actually incorporate in your own look as well. So this is interesting because he's collaborating the lounge look, like I mentioned before, with the smart casual. So he has the tailored sweatpants, but the great thing about this, he has the jacket, I believe it's a zip up, you can't tell from here because the scarf is covering it, but he has a scarf over his jacket as well. So it kind of has a balance of smart casual with the loungewear look. And I, those are actually Blintz Yaga shoes, I can tell. But yeah, the whole look is quite clean. So the last characteristic, which I want you guys to embrace about Memphis here, Memphis is actually going into more of his roots. Not only that he's a Dutch, but he's also Ghanaian. So he's really going back to his African roots here and you can actually see it with what he's wearing right here. So he's wearing an all white, actually pinstripe uh, African attire. So this is quite normal within Africa. Uh, standards of fashion. So this is great to see someone doing this and uh, this even styling it in their own way, especially has the African scarf around his neck as well. You know what the great thing about fashion is? It's a great way of connecting with people because sometimes if you go to certain places in the world 
and you're in a business suit, you're not relatable. As much as you could be from there, you're not gonna be accepted as a person, right? You're gonna be accepted as a figure of the, of like demand or, or dictatorship. It's great to see him go back to Ghana and have the relationships with the people. That's a great thing, not only building relationships, but knowing and understanding people's stories. So the fact that he's wearing the African attire in this environment, it just adds to the whole story a lot more better. You can see him right here with more African attire. He has his watch on as well, which is really cool. This is inspiring even for me to even like see this. Even for me, man, like this is something that I wanna connect myself back to within my own culture of being a Jamaican and Nigerian. I think it's so important just to connect back to your home country, your environment, the clothing you wear, just eating the food, the culture, experiencing the culture is very, very important for anyone of their nationality. Definitely for me, I definitely see myself going to Africa, Jamaica, definitely connecting with people out there and just kind of sharing that experience with people as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did because I feel like this was actually a really good one that I enjoyed doing and um, I hope you guys enjoy it as well. My name is Tulu and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.